When you think about transatlantic flights, you definitely have wide-body planes in your mind. For decades, flights between America and Europe have been operated by large planes, including the famous jumbo jet. That is slowly changing. We are already seeing airlines such as Aer Lingus, TAP, and SAS flying into the U.S. with Airbus A321s, planes traditionally operating on short and medium-haul flights. However, we are on the brink of a revolutionary change, as Airbus is planning to deliver the first A321 XLR to Spanish airline Iberia this summer. The European manufacturer has secured more than 550 orders for the highly anticipated extra-long-range model from American Airlines, Frontier Airlines, JetBlue Airways, United Airlines, Air Canada, Qantas, AirAsia, and others, which speaks for itself. So, what is so unique about this aircraft that all major carriers want to fly it? The answer is range. Airbus claims that XLR is uniquely equipped for long-haul flying, thanks to an extra rear-center fuel tank that helps the narrow-body aircraft fly up to 5,400 miles, or 11 hours, non-stop. That will enable airlines to fly between U.S. eastern coast cities and Europe. Thanks to this plane, smaller cities would be connected to bigger hubs on the other side of the ocean. That airport couldn't be served until now because of lack of demand for wide-body service. The new long-range narrow-body will also allow for an increased frequency on many routes, such as Miami to London or Los Angeles to Toronto. Airbus 81XLR is also the successor of the famous Boeing 757, but with a 30% reduced fuel burn compared with this previous generation aircraft. And there is an even more interesting fact, as according to Airbus, the cost of the flight is going to be 50% lower than with a wide-body plane. So why hasn't Boeing created anything similar? After all, they are the manufacturer of the successful 757. Well, the American company estimates that flights of over 3,000 miles make up just 0.3% of the entire single-aisle market, so they think that there is limited appeal for a plane like the XLR. However, for comparison, 550 aircraft represent approximately 8% of all 737 MAX ordered so far, so it isn't an insignificant number, and Boeing clearly made a mistake here. Now only the potential, so-called NMA aircraft may change the situation, but that will take years. The other important thing that comes to mind when thinking about narrow-body flights above the Atlantic is passenger comfort. However, here the information is rather positive for us as all airlines will install almost the same seats in business and economy class as there are in wide body. For example, American Airlines Director of Global Network Planning said the XLR will enable the airline to serve routes that cannot support a 787, but where we still have a nice onboard product, so onboard products wouldn't be compromised. The only disadvantage of XLR is one aisle, which is definitely less comfortable and may lead to situations when passengers are standing near the onboard lavatories. The Airbus A321 XLR will also be used by low-cost carriers, which are going to expand their network to completely new cities, countries, and continents. For example, Frontier Airlines plans to start flights to Europe and South America, Indigo to Europe and China or Korea, and the Hungarian ultra-low-cost Wizz Air to Singapore, of course from Abu Dhabi, not Europe. Airbus A321 XLR is not a new plane, but rather an extended range version of the Airbus A321 Neo. The main difference is the additional fuel tank called the rear center tank. It occupies part of the rear cargo compartment. The tank's walls are close to the fuselage walls, and the top of it is continuous with the passenger cabin floor. All these features have drawn the attention of the FAA and other regulators, which requested that Airbus ensure that the tank can withstand any external and internal fire or other damages that may occur during, for example, a hard landing. That is also a reason for a slight delay in aircraft certification. But let's hope that the A321 XLR will finally start its regular passenger flights. The first one is scheduled to be the Iberia Madrid Boston service on November 14, 2024. The highly anticipated plane is now in the last certification and flight testing stages. After entry into service, the A321 XLR will definitely revolutionize air travel. New opportunities will open up for the airlines, airports, and most importantly passengers, who will be able to embark on shorter non-stop flights or depart from their home airports instead of driving to the larger ones.
That's all for today. I hope you liked today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to my channel.